Hello and welcome to this brand new series called Me 10 Photography Masterclass. I am Rahul and I work as a product marketer for the brand Me. I am a photography enthusiast and have been practicing and learning photography for years now. Over the course of this series, we will talk about the evolution of smartphone cameras and also get into the future of smartphone photography. We are going to bust some myths and teach you some tricks and also simplify all the jargon around smartphone photography. All of this powered by the Me 10. So let's get started with this masterclass. They say that the best camera is the one that's with you and we couldn't agree more. One important thing about photography is the tech that helps you get that perfect shot. But it's not just about that. It's also about you and how you see things. All you need to do is find the device that suits you, your style and makes shooting a whole lot fun. For me, it's the Mi 10. The debate around DSLRs and smartphone cameras is an old one. And rather than joining in on it, we would take some time to declutter it for you. Light is the basis of photography and without light there will be no photography. Any DSLR or a professional camera controls the amount of light by making use of a few hardware and software features. The first feature is the sensor. A bigger sensor ensures that more light comes in while keeping the noise at the lowest. The second feature with which you can control the light is shutter speed. Each camera has a shutter between the camera sensor and the lens. Each time you press to click a picture, the shutter opens up. If the shutter is open for a longer time, you let more light to come in. And if the shutter is open only for a fraction of a second, there's less light coming in. The third feature that helps you control light is aperture. Aperture is a characteristic of the lens. It acts as a window, allowing more or less light to pass in onto the sensor. Last but not the least, ISO. ISO is the rate at which the sensor draws in light. You can increase the rate to draw in more light, but there's one problem with it. With increasing rate, you invite more noise to come in as well. Unlike the DSLR, which can control light in four ways, smartphone cameras can control light only in three ways. Through the sensor, shutter speed, and ISO. Aperture is generally fixed on smartphones, with a few exceptions here and there. With the aperture being fixed, you lose out on the ability to control light, and that brings in numerous challenges. The sensor of a smartphone camera occupies much less space compared to the sensor of a DSLR, which means it accepts lesser number of photons for the same time of exposure. DSLRs and mirrorless cameras on the other hand also have better range for shutter speed and ISO. The smartphone camera technology has been ever evolving and since its inception, we have overcome many challenges that we faced initially. Take Mi 10 for example. To solve the problem of a smaller sensor not allowing sufficient light, the Mi 10 comes with a big 1x1.33-inch sensor. This is fairly bigger than most of the commonly available sensors in the market. While it is a bigger sensor, it also packs in 108 megapixels. It uses pixel binning to club light from the adjacent pixels and form one big superpixel, enabling a bigger pixel on a bigger sensor. We all face the issue of not-so-sharp images in low-light conditions. One way in which the camera tries to overcome this problem is by adjusting the shutter speed and ISO. But with adjustment of the ISO, a lot of noise creeps in. So this isn't the best workaround. And to deal with this, the Mi 10 comes with OIS. Even in low light conditions, it keeps the camera steady so that you get crisp looking videos and images in any lighting condition. Additionally, making use of computational photography and AI, Mi 10 tries and emulate a professional camera experience, making it one of the most promising smartphone cameras out there. Just like any other professional camera, you can choose to skip the automatic mode and take control of all your photos and videos because the Mi 10 comes with a dedicated pro video and a pro photo mode. And that's exactly what we talk about in the upcoming videos. Thank you for tuning in and stay tuned for the next one. Until then, keep shooting and keep learning. 